This video presentation was created for Horticulture 120, Computer Applications and Landscape Contracting. For this presentation, we will discuss the uses and significance of computer-aided design software in the landscape industry, as well as the advantages, disadvantages, and what the future holds for the software. Up until the early 1980s, design professionals relied primarily on hand-drawn designs to present their ideas to other experts and customers in the industry. This all changed with the introduction of computer-aided design. Computer-aided design, more commonly referred to as CAD, is the use of computer technology to design technical drawings for various industries. CAD software allows users to create precise 2D drawings most commonly used in the design process. Some programs even possess a 3D feature that is especially helpful when trying to visualize a design as it would appear in real life. Since its initial introduction in the 80s, CAD programs have become increasingly more useful, advanced, and versatile. In essence, CAD reduces design time by digitally inputting lines, shapes, and text that are all editable with the click of a mouse. In the landscape industry, there are many opportunities and applications for utilizing such a design tool. The first and foremost reason for using CAD is the ability to design landscapes. The 3D capabilities prove especially advantageous when presenting a design idea to a client. The client can actually see and understand what the finished landscape will look like before the work has even begun. Another reason computer-aided design is so heavily exploited in the landscape profession is a tremendous amount of time saved by employing the software. Design ideas and client expectations are constantly changing, and with CAD software, plans and drawings can change just as quickly. There are numerous advantages to using CAD software in design. CAD's digital drawings replace paper blueprints and allow you to easily acquire information from a design, such as measurements, dimensions, and even materials used. CAD also makes use of layering. Layering is a tool used to organize design details into groups that can be hidden and displayed at will. This feature is especially helpful when you want to focus on one area or element of a design project. Another advantage is CAD's compatibility with other software programs. After CAD has been used to create a plan set of drawings, a file can be transferred to rendering and other 3D modeling programs, such as Google SketchUp and Adobe Photoshop. Once imported into these programs, the original 2D drawing can easily be converted to a 3D environment with perspective, depth, and texture. While there certainly seems to be many advantages to using CAD, there are some disadvantages, mainly cost. High-end CAD programs can cost well over $2,000, and that's in addition to the price of a quality computer necessary to run the software. There are less expensive and even free programs available for use. However, these programs typically have limitations compared to full versions of the software. Another drawback has to do with the proficient user operation. While CAD is a valuable, time-saving tool, it is only efficient under the direction of a trained user. CAD programs can be complex to master and may take users months and even years to truly grasp. Another disadvantage has to do with the technology used to operate the CAD software itself. The final drawback to CAD is portability. While many CAD programs are beginning to experiment with mobile applications for phones, Apple iPods, and iPads, it is still easier to carry pencil and paper into the field. With such a diverse design industry, it is no surprise that there is an equally copious selection of CAD software programs available for use. Many of the advertised programs are tailored to fulfill the design needs for specific professions such as the automotive, shipbuilding, aerospace, architectural, prosthetics, and landscaping industries. Some of these products include AutoCAD by Autodesk, TurboCAD by IMSI Design Company, and Dynascape by Coyote Software Corporation. Autodesk even unveiled its AutoCAD for Mac 2011 late in October 2010, introducing a CAD program for the Mac OS. As recently as 2010, a new element was added to the already sophisticated capabilities of CAD with the emergence of the app. Applications, more commonly abbreviated as apps, are programs that have been designed to work on various portable devices, such as Apple's iPhone, iPod, and iPad, and other mobile smartphones like the Android. Several CAD apps available for the iPhone, iPod, and iPad include AutoCAD WS by Autodesk, CAD Touch R3 by CAD Touch, and Cartomap CAD by Aniba Geoinformatica SL. The Android OS also has an application called ANCAD by Talon Design LLP. One of the biggest advantages to such apps is portability. The use of mobile devices lets you to take their designs right into the field and even edit and add design details as you go. Many of the apps cost little to nothing. 
However, the main disadvantage to these programs is they do not possess the full functionality of desktop CAD software and require some form of internet connection. Regardless, it seems that the next stage in computer-aided design will be mobile conceptualization. This drawing was edited using AutoCAD WS on the Apple iPad. As of October 2010, Autodesk enabled CAD designs to be uploaded to their website, giving users access to their designs on any wired computer. All in all, CAD is a very useful design tool. As with any program, it has its faults, but overall the software produces technically precise drawings, and with training, designs can be completed in a fraction of the time it would take to produce a similar drawing with traditional hand drafting techniques. As technology continues to progress forward at an ever-increasing rate, there seems to be no limitations to the potential power of CAD.